Okay, so we've just got on the plane to go to Bangkok. India's over. Unfortunately though, Toby's got his first dose of Delhi Belly just as we are uh, starting to leave though. Great, great stuff. <laughs> So we're just on our way to the elephant sanctuary where we're going to be volunteering for a week helping elephants who've been working in logging camps, circuses and have been abused. We bathe with them, make their food, feed them, shovel their sh so hopefully it'll be good. This spider is absolutely ridiculous. That is a beast. Oh my. It's a man eater. Oh. Probably an elephant eater at that. <laughs> So this afternoon we're doing some park cleanup. A cat in it, another cat, and a lizard, a big a ass lizard, and a bee the size of an iPhone. Come on, it's time for you to go. Oh, are you joking me? Just get out. Yes. Got to get the other one out. No. Leave this place, cat. Oh, for God's sake! I can't pick it up. I don't know how to pick up a cat. Just grab it around its middle. <laughs> out. Yay. Now you got the lizard out of it. Hello, <laughs> So I'm filming this a week after our time at the Elephant Sanctuary, um, just wanted to kind of summarise our time there and reflect a bit on what we did. It was interesting, We um, the whole time we were kind of taking the piss, saying things like, oh, shoveling elephant poo every day. As we predicted, we're shoveling <laughs> first thing. Yeah. <laughs> on the last day we had a talk by the woman that set up the um, Elephant Nature Park. That was really, really interesting. And we learned about how these elephants were abused and how pretty much the whole tourist industry um, is pretty horrific. So we learned that the logging industry was pretty, uh, pretty terrible, where the elephants would be used to pull these big logs that have been, these big trees that have been chopped down and kind of 
used until they died from exhaustion and whatnot. I think the logging logging has been was banned a while ago in Thailand, so that has declined now and stopped. But the tourist industry in Thailand is still really bad, and you see people all the time going to Thailand and riding elephants. It's actually pretty bad for the elephant to ride on its back um, and they've got quite weak spines so it can potentially do quite a lot of damage to the elephant and put it under a lot of strain even if you don't ride with one of the harnesses even if you just sit on their necks that's still really bad for the elephant probably the worst thing we learned about was when the elephants are really young um, to train them for a tourist industry the elephants go through what's called breaking the elephant's will so they'll pretty much torture it and they'll tie its legs up so it can't sit down um, and they do this for long periods of time and they stab it with like sticks and um, hooks and um, nails and they pretty much break the elephant's will so that it can be trained to do whatever the um, hoots, the people who ride the elephant do whatever they want essentially. Yeah, so that's really horrific, which we literally had no idea about before we, before we even signed up for the volunteer work. So I'd say for anyone planning to come to Thailand or Southeast Asia, um, make sure you don't ride elephants. You can still see the elephants, you can still um, walk with the elephants, and there's quite a lot of places um, around that, will, that you'll be able to see the elephants without putting them in arms way. And, so I'll put a link in the description um, showing you videos of how these elephants are mistreated and kind of summarising what I've just said in a much better way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you for next week's video in Laos. Perks of living in the jungle. Gecko in your towel. I think he's dead. Is it clean to use that towel now? Well, does is it, it safe? Well, he doesn't have BO, does he? RIP, Roger. Going straight out the window. Oh. <laughs> it's time for you to part, Roger. <laughs>